laboratory on West, there's just one way to handle the killers and the spoilers, and that's with a U.S. Marshal and the smell of gun smoke. Gunsmoke, presented by Army in Europe magazine, a monthly feature magazine for the use of a soldier and civilian. Gunsmoke, starring William Conrad, the story of the violence that moved west with young America, and the story of a man who moved with it. I'm that man, Matt Dillon, United States Marshal. The first man they look for and the last they want to meet. It's a chancy job, and it makes a man watchful and a little lonely. Mr. Dillon, 
night like this is the best time of the whole day. I agree, Chester. Dodge does look better in the dark, doesn't it? Well, yes, sir, but it ain't only that. Things quiet down about this time of night. Folks goes to bed and kindly put their meanness away for a while. <laughs> oh, maybe some of them do. Yeah, dust gets a chance to settle. The breeze comes in off the prairie all fresh and cool. The stars uh, comes out. The moon wait a minute. is one Wait a minute, Chester. What's the matter? I thought I heard something. Uh, Heard you hear that? Uh, it sounds like somebody groaning. Yeah, come on. Uh, well, look, uh, there's somebody laying away on the ground. Uh, 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 strike a match, Chester. Yes, sir. And then, well, that's Wally Sturk. Yeah, looks like he's coming around, Wally. Uh, Hey, Wally. Matt Dillon, are you all right? Mm. Wally. Can you hear me, Wally? Uh, Marshal? Yeah. What happened? I don't know. Somebody hit me back to the head. Oh, who was it? I don't know. I was in the long branch playing poker. And I come out and I started down the street. My money. Where's my money? I had more than a hundred dollars I won in that poker game. Well, the way your pockets is turned inside out, I doubt you've got it now. Somebody was laying for me out here in the dark. It sure looks that way. I know it better than to stop and talk to her. Talk to who? Gina Preble. She stopped me and started making up to me. And then somebody slugged you from behind. That's right. And that's happened around her before. Gina knows a lot of little tricks like that. You mean she set me up for it? Like a possum up a tree. Hey, you think you can stand up, Willie? Yeah, I think so. I bet the man that done it's that fellow she's been hanging around with lately. What fellow? I don't know, some young whippersnapper calls himself Bravo. Marshal come calling on a girl. You mind if we come in, Gina? Well, Marshal, I was just... Thank you. Now, you here alone? Who's there, Gina? Who are you talking to? Oh. Hello, Bravo. And what'd you let him in for? He just come in, Bravo. I, I couldn't do nothing. What's the idea, Marshal? Which one of you has the money? What money? The money you took from Wally Sturk. We don't know nothing about that. What are you up to, Marshal? You made a mistake, didn't you, Gina? Wally Stark knows you. You always used to pick strangers when you were working it with your old partner. What's he talking about? I don't know, Bravo. I don't know nothing about it. What partner? Nobody. His name was Big Red. Gina was pretty friendly with him till I ran him out of town last year. Well, I didn't know what kind of man he was. Didn't you? Gina, where'd you go tonight when you was out so long? No place. I, I just talked to some friends like I told you. Weren't you with her, brother? No, I wasn't. What friends, Gina? Just some, some girls I know that work down at the Long Branch and some other places down the street. You weren't in the Long Branch when you ran into Wally Sturk. You were in the alley. I've been there, though. I, I, I was coming home, taking a shortcut, and Wally stopped me. Oh? Uh-huh. He says you stopped him. I just said hello, and he, he wanted to talk. And while you were talking to him, somebody stepped up behind and slugged him in the back of the head. I don't know nothing about that, Marshal. You were there. It was dark. I, I didn't see nothing. It wasn't that dark. Now, who did it, Gina? He t- 
kill me. He said he'd kill me if I told anybody. Who's going to kill you now? What are you talking about? I didn't want nothing to do with him, Bravo. Honest, I didn't. I was scared to death when I heard he was back. And then he found me and he threatened me. You mean Big Red, huh? He'll kill me if he knows I told you. You know where he is now? Yeah. You rotten little sneak. You didn't know him, Bravo. He's tough and, he, and he's mean. And you're just a kid and I didn't want you to get hurt. Get out of here, Chester. Take her outside, then. Mr. Come on, Miss. Bravo, get out. Me Go on, Gina. I'll be out in a minute. All right, Marshal. You know, you pushed me just as far as you're going to, Marshal. Now you made it so I'll be a laughing stock all over town. You shouldn't have taken up with a girl like her, Bravo. And you shouldn't have been born. I'm going to prove that to you, Marshal. It's the last thing I ever do. You know, Bravo, the next time you make a move toward that gun of yours, it probably will be the last thing you ever do. You're going to pay, Marshal. You're going to pay plenty. I'll show you what I am. You don't have to show me, Bravo. I already know. Play another game, Matt. Doc, how many times do I have to beat you before you give up? Huh? Well, the cards have been running against me, that's all. Sure. Just one more, Matt. Oh, well, all right. Go ahead and deal them. Ah. Hey, Chester. Yes, sir. Would you mind going over to Sam's place and bringing some supper for the prisoner? All right, sure. Oh, uh, be all right if they get me a little snack while I'm there? <laughs> yeah, sure. And who's he got locked up, Matt? A man called Big Red. Waiting trial for Robin Wally's Turk a couple of days ago. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, yes, I heard about that. Yeah, I figure he'll be convicted on the evidence. He should have been sent up years ago. Mm -hmm. No. Oh, well, you look at this hand. (laughs) Well, it should be a good one, Doc. You dealt it. You claiming I stacked the deck? Oh, not yet. I'll just wait and see how the hand turns out. I never saw such a poor loser in all my boys. I haven't lost yet, Doc. You're sure going to, though. Why, with the hand I've got here... That was our back, man. You stay here, Doc. Now watch yourself. Hold it, Marshal. Right where you are. Bravo. Don't you turn around. It's the gun I got in your back. And I'll take that gun of yours. You don't mind? What are you up to, Bravo? I'm riding out tonight, Marshal. And I'm leaving this town something to remember me by. I just killed Big Red. What? I shot him through the cell window. Just like a setting prairie dog. You crazy fool. Now, I'm going to put on a show for the boys at the Long Branch. I'm going to make their marshal dance for them. I've given you all the chance I'm going to, Bravo. You had your last warning. Ain't you forgot something, Marshal? This is a gun I'm holding in your back. Now start walking. Just keep walking, Marshal. You're heading down a rough road, Bravo, and this is about your last chance to turn back. Straight ahead. You're a fool, kid. Don't you call me kid. Not after what I'm doing tonight. Go on. Inside. Hey, look good. We got a nice big crowd. Hello, man. I didn't expect you back tonight. Kitty. Huh? Stay clear of him. He's got a gun. What? Run along, girly. Maybe I'll find time for you later. Look, Bravo. I didn't mean what I said the other night. When'd you let him go? Peter. Huh? Look, you and me can get out of here. We can go somewhere and we can talk. I know Don't what you're up to. Now, beat it. You better do what he says, Kitty. All right, man. Straight ahead, Marshal. Right out in the middle of the floor. We want them all to get a good look at this. I'm going to show them 
something they won't forget. and directed by Norman MacDonald. Stars William Conrad as Matt Dillon, U.S. Marshal. Featured in the cast were Parley Bear as Chester, Howard McNear as Doc, and Georgia Ellis as Kitty. George Walsh speaking. Join us again next week for another specially transcribed story on Gunsmoke. This is the United States Armed Forces Radio and Television Service.